Hey, what's up everybody? It's October 6th, Thursday, and I thought I'd just do week number 44 of my contest prep vlog. Um, last Saturday I competed at the NPC San Francisco, um, where I took first in the middles and first in the masters. Uh, great show, got to compete alongside with my brother, uh, Paul Alberts, who took first in the band weights second in the Masters, and then I competed with my teammate Alberto Nunes, who took third in the middleweights, and uh, he had a pretty good showing uh, considering he didn't have a full peak week, so he did quite well, and just to compete with those guys was pretty awesome. Uh, I also got to compete with um, one of our clients, Mark Mulholland, who took uh, first place in the middleweights and fourth place in, or he took first in the novice middleweights and fourth place in the open middleweights, so all around, it was just a great day to hang around with those guys and uh, have a great show and experience a lot of fun with them. So. But anyway, uh, since then I've been getting a lot of uh, questions regarding, you know, my my prep. What am I going to do leading up to the Orton Cup this year? It's my first time doing the Orton Cup. It's the uh, World Championships for the IFPA Natural Bodybuilding, and um, I'm pretty excited about it. Um, uh, it's finally it's the pinnacle of natural bodybuilding, and uh, it's actually a dream come true to be able to, to do this show and um, yeah just a lot of people are asking me you know what am I going to do is there anything different um, you know any special types of prep, uh, things with prep I'm going to do and um, not really um, my game plan is pretty much to keep it simple um, I just think simpli simplicity is is pretty much the way to go it's gotten me to this point so that's how I, I usually like to approach the sport I like keep things pretty basic and simple I'm just going to maintain hitting my macros, um, keep eating my cakes, you know, got to eat the cakes. And uh, as far as workouts, nothing special, just maintain the same workouts. Uh, I do like to auto-regulate those workouts, meaning if, you know, if I'm feeling tired, you know, I'll take an extra day off or I'll drop a set off here or there. Um, if I feel like I need to push, I will push. Um, I will, you know, add weight, add reps, add sets. So whatever I feel like I need at that particular moment, that's what I do. Um, I always like to have my workouts on, set on paper, but I'm not a prisoner to that. So if I need to auto-regulate and change things around, I will do that when I'm when I'm actually in the gym working out. So um, you know, I'm not one of those type of guys that I actually have to have something on paper and follow it to a T. Um, I like to, to, to go by how I'm feeling. Um, cardio wise, I'm just going to keep maintaining my cardio. I, I like the list. Uh, it's been doing the job for 44 weeks, so there's nothing I'm going to do to change that. I'm just going to keep doing what's been working. Um, as far as, uh, and, and another thing is just be consistent. I'm just going to maintain the consistency. Um, there's no reason to uh, get you know off course so I'm just gonna stay the course and um, be patient another thing is being patient I know a lot of a lot of guys are are get too motivated or they, they get real eager to make things happen so they go outside of their their comfort zone to do something a little extra or special and uh, gauging from my past and the experiences with uh, previous preps 
uh, whenever I get a little too motivated, I start to push. And um, fatigue usually comes into play. And um, yeah, my recovery is not as not as well. It's not as good. So it just uh, hinders my my future progress and my future workouts. So I really have to keep my motivation in check. So I don't get too high. I don't get too low. Um, I just like to keep an even keel to things, nice and steady, be consistent, be patient, and uh, uh, stay within myself. So, yeah, so that, that's just pretty much how I'm going to approach the last three and a half weeks. It's nothing exciting. It's just going to be the same thing that's gotten me to this point for the last 44 weeks, and that's just keeping things pretty even and uh, just maintain everything that I've been doing. and where it all falls it all falls um uh, gauging by my last show at the san francisco on saturday um i didn't run a full peak week for that show and it was actually probably one of my best showings yet so with a peak week for the for the orton i'm hoping i could get a little bit uh look a little bit better and uh with three and a half weeks i'm sure i could get a little bit leaner so i'm looking to lose about another two to three pounds by the orton and uh, that will put me, well, I weighed in at on the scales over in San Francisco at 173. So if I could hit 170, 171 at the Yorton Cup, I think that'll put me right where I need to be. It'll be my best uh, condition yet. Um, where that stacks up against the other athletes, uh, I have no clue. Um, I don't have big expectations. Um, I'm going to be going against some of the best natural bodybuilders in the world. So I have no idea how I'm going to going to be compared to those guys. Um, just to be on that stage alone, that alone right there, I mean, I'm just so happy about that. So if I come in last place, I'm sure I'll be just as happy as if I crack the top five. Um, but I'm not counting my, you know, I'm not going to count on that. I just think... Uh, sharing the day with Alberto and, and the other athletes and some of the friends that we have over there through 3DMJ is going to be awesome. So, And then I'm also looking forward to the waffles the next morning. So can't beat that trip. I'm looking forward to the sights in Washington, D.C. And that's pretty much it. That's my uh, that's my approach for, this, for the Orton Cup. And um, as of late, everything else has been going pretty good as far as my training so just take it one day at a time have fun and uh, that's about it so oh I just want to throw out there that um, it is October and we are going to be looking 3DMJ as in we are going to be looking for our two new sponsored athletes so look for that to be coming out on the website within the next three to four weeks maybe early November as far as uh, how to apply for that and um, we're, we're looking to get a lot of great athletes applying and we're excited to be sponsoring two new athletes for next year um, we had two great ones Cheryl Gladiker this year who uh, did her first uh, WMBF pro, uh, pro show this year and also Eric Holm who uh, captured two pro cards this year so he captured those at the NGA California and also at the Silver and Black Classic. So, And then he entered his first pro show as well this year at the IFPA Pro USA. Look for that to come out later on this month or early November. Uh, we look forward to your application, and uh, yeah, it's it should be awesome. So, but anyway, that's my uh, quick vlog for week 44, and uh, I will try to put one out, put another vlog out next week. But until then, uh, keep training hard, smart, and naturally.